Oh, I gotta go play my set. See ya. I am alone. You are alone. Zombie. Yeah. This is the solo check. winners final. Oh. And here we got bone check. One, go. And we're off to the races. You're gonna see Maverick Kid using a lot of these full hops, trying to bait a response. Uh, Antimony more than more than happy with just mining. And here we go, another string of forward air. The anvil dropped and not really getting a chance to mine. Maverick Kid has Antimony exactly where he wants him, and Antimony's gonna have to find to try to figure something else out if this continues. Yeah, and you're gonna see trying to hit ledge trap, but there's the material that Antimony needs, and he's back with a weird pos I was wondering why the blocks were like that. Any answers right away? And here we are. The down air. Just tacking on that percent onto Antimony. Down air when you can. The roll of cheek. And if you can end the combo with a down air, do it. And here we have Antimony. Just another down air for a combo starter. Antimony's not really expecting it. Let's see if he'll think about some sort of way to circumnavigate just any sort of thing. That's a fair with no follow-up, trying to bait a reaction. And Antimony's reaction is, plays down another block. You know, just gotta get the Steve going and get these materials, but it's very difficult. And these are the matchups where Steve struggles the most. And that... That is a fast car right there. Hitting Sheik. And here we go. Trying to get the drag down combo, but doesn't quite get it. Antimony has diamonds. This could be from anywhere from 60% to even a kill. But nope. Just rather goes for this jab neutral. Trying to catch Maverick Kid with these short hop approaches. Perhaps a short hop forward air. Perhaps anything. And chipping down the block with needles, I don't think that's quite optimal. And I think Maverick Kid noticed that as they tried to finish it with dash attack. Perhaps out of a little bit of frustration with that block staying for so long. But uh, to get punished, and oh my gosh! And that is that is mind crafting right here from Antimony, just trying to. Do a weird zoning game with Steve. I've never really seen this. With just a lot of forward air, back air, just keeping Sheik in the corner with that fast frame data. Not really trying to land any sort of thing, anything other than just a stray hit. That a little bit of a drop there, but that's okay. I think it was going for a nil. Oh my! Yeah, and just covering this. Yeah, just using this pickaxe to cover space, which I know isn't... It's pretty safe. It's not the safest, but it's... It's enough. And here we go, Maverick Kid with the forward throw, forward air, just tacking on percent. Not really getting any of these combo finishers to add the big percent, as I talked about earlier, the back air, the down air, the up smash, the bouncing fish something to just say there it is goes for just a raw bouncing fish might pay for it antibody retreating right now building up materials making a little house and using that side piece sheet for sheik to get over that oh my gosh and here we go just landing with that down air saying hey you can't cover me on this side of the platform i'm gonna go the other side just to mix you up a little the mind games are real here and that's the mind part position there. That's one block, three blocks high. You gotta be careful for a minecart going through that gap. And what is... What is the play here for Maverick Kid? That's, oh my gosh! Reads the jump, but Maverick Kid does a, a retreating jump, and it's just last hit. It could be anything. It could even be... Okay. Oh, that's caught on the anvil. 
And that's it for anti -Moni. That is up to one zero. Yeah, I think the game really turned right there, and it's gonna. I'm gonna say something that's like I don't know, maybe like a very minute interaction, but the, uh, halfway through the game, Antimony got to mine as Maverick Kid threw two singular needles and the dash attack just to get punished on those blocks, and that that was that was the difference. Now you're facing a different character after that. These singular needles from Maverick Kid is just... Antimony says no, Here, here's a wall, You're, you don't get to do that to me. Oh my gosh! Follows... Yeah, ends it with the back air. Trying to land... Oh. oh my! Yeah, that was just... A lot of moves and a lot of unique moves in that combo. Uh, attacking on the damage with that up air, that back air, that and goes for a bouncing fish. Antimony gotta be thinking of something. Uses the grab to keep Maverick Kid at bay. Says, "Hey, get out of my face!" But back to the edge of the stage for Antimony. Reads the bouncing fish and goes higher. That is a minecart path if I've ever seen one. Uses it to break the blocks and up air. I don't think that was intentional, but it works, so we take those. Maverick Kid trying to say, hey, you edged that first game off of me. Everyone gets one. I am Maverick Kid. I'm just trying to get some sort of kill confirmed, though. And that's where Maverick Kid seems to be struggling. How are you going to kill if not for Bouncing Fish? And it seems like Maverick Kid says, maybe I'll just do Bouncing Fish. <laughs> and that is Charging Needle just waiting for a response, trying to get Steve dead off stage. Steve with one of the best recoveries in the game. Oh my gosh. At that point, Maverick Kid's like, he knows he has to go for something. There, the perfect parry, and this is looking dubious for Maverick Kid, but the whip grabs the... A lot going on right now, but using the anvil to separate them and reset neutral, but no! Look at that iron, though. That is one iron on the side of Antimony. That is zero iron. Maverick Kid, two burst options that are used to uh, defend... When you're in disadvantage, now not being able to be used, which is the anvil, the minecart, gets one option, uses it right away, and back to Maverick Kid time. Nice deck. Oh, and... Talk about baited, Maverick Kid pretended to go in, and Antimony was like, oh, probably going to do it, since, you know, not gonna chip away at the stone with these chic moves, but no, just fades back and catches the option. Goes for another up B kill. I think, at this point, Antimony might have caught on. Yeah, and I can't expect, I don't expect Antimony to craft using this diamond. I think they're just going to try to use this back air and forward air to get a kill. Maybe the up smash, but there you go. And that's the last diamond. He has the tool. Doesn't matter what Maverick Kid does. That is one of the strongest characters in the game right there. That is Steve with diamonds and five iron as well. Doesn't, decides not to finish it with an up smash. She goes for the safer route, gets at 56%, knowing that this is a chip and chisel game against the character with a better neutral. And this is one of the harder Steve matchups. Uh, well, uh, harder Steve matchups archetypes, where Steve doesn't really get to sit behind and mine and get become this godlike character. He has to approach and confront, and really, this chip game, you need one good hit, but. When you're facing a neutral by Sheik, like Sheik, it's hard to get. 100%.
goes for the grab, but it's read by Antimonian. That is an up smash. Oh my gosh, what an option. As 2-0. And here we have it. 2-0, Antimony, Maverick Kid, going into game number three now. I think there's a lot to be that couldn't be said about this next match on Smashville. Uh, I believe Smashville's Steve Mines with Axe, correct? Stop battle, yep. So that's going to be harder for those confirms with those up tilts and those up airs. But out of every antimony set I've seen, this is some of the least go. amount of upper air airage that I've encountered. Never mind, it's here. And that's forward throw bouncing fish tacking on that damage. Going to try to do something similar, but oh my gosh. Trying to get some sort of kill here, but no! Maverick Kid just forward air. Drags them across. Drags them across. Trying to find anything. Maybe an early kill, but it's hard to abuse Steve's recovery like that. So you just got to opt to reset neutral and go in again. Keep push advantage a little, but what was that option? Yeah. No, I mean like... No disrespect, it was just not something I would ever imagine. But using the crafting, crafting table to extend the hitbox or get a second one, that's pretty cool. And here we are. You gotta, if you're Maverick Kid, you're definitely looking for an early kill. Bouncing Fish is one of those options, but Antimony has so much available room for creativity with this recovery and he's been using it. it doesn't matter though maverick kid eventually gets the kill and here we are this is the diamonds this is the fencing out zoning ish game playing steve like a sword that's the antimony has been doing of course slower frame data than the sortie so it's a budget sortie for sure but just trying to get in once again is antimony using yeah and you're no iron, just wood and dirt, and I think he expected approach there because Maverick Kid knows he has no iron, but Maverick Kid just sits back. There's a lot of mind games going on right now, and that's just, yeah, I agree. You gotta get your materials when you get your materials. That's both iron used, and back again, three, four, and the diamond. The up air with the fist is just always such a cool thing to see. Uh, Steve is not gonna lie, kind of hype with uh, without the weapons. It's cool to see what they can uh, make do with. A little worse hitboxes, a little worse everything. But there we go, that's the three iron antimony needs. Uh, first off, is away from everything. Using the TNT to mine down smash and then F smash out of the. the Rubble, and that's a 3-0 coming from Antimony.